sometimes just saying yes is the magic it takes from going zero to one. Here I am, a full-time actor, a full-time entrepreneur and a full-time content creator. I learned to stop complaining and blaming others for things. Change what you can control and let go of what you cannot. Whether it's starting your own business or uh, going for a 9 to 5 job or doing both, you have the power to be your own person and own your own life. I love to watch movies. I love to talk about movies. Uh, so I thought what's better to start my talk with a movie that changed my perspective on a lot of things. Yes Man. It's about a guy named Carl, played by Jim Carrey. So he challenges himself to say yes to everything. Before this his life is not looking up, he is not doing amazing in his life. But when he changes his outlook and decides to say yes to things, his life turns around. Everything starts working for him in his work life, in his love life. Now, I'm not suggesting you say yes to everything, but uh, more like in acting, uh, we do improv. So with improv, what we have to do is, the only rule is yes and. Until the time you don't say yes and, the scene doesn't move forward, you get stuck in it. So, same way, in life, if we don't say yes and to opportunities, we stop our growth. So when we are passing out of college, our biggest worry is what if things don't work out? What if our parents don't agree with this? What if we are not able to do something? So I feel sometimes just saying yes is the magic it takes from going zero to one. For most of us, we know at some point in our life what we are going to become when we grow up. I don't know, for some of you it must be when you were five years old or six years old. For me, it happened when I was in second standard. It was the first day of my school and our teacher had asked us, what do you want to be when you grow up? I raised my hand and I was like, in the morning, I want to be a teacher. In the afternoon, I want to be a doctor. In the evening, I want to be a painter or a shoe designer or something creative. So I really thought my teacher would go like, wow, beta. <laughs> Instead, she said, uh, beta, you can't be three things at once. Here I am, a full-time actor, a full-time entrepreneur and a full-time content creator. I don't necessarily work in this order, but I try to align my day in some way. Uh, and people ask me a lot of times, how do I do three things at once? Now, this may not be for everyone wanting to do three things at once, but if I could inspire some of you to be more than just one thing, uh, not a jobber, a liver, or working on yourself, <laughs> but more like having multiple sources of incomes. Over the years, I've tried several methods and gotten inspired from some really accomplished people on how they manage their time. First one, I'm sure everyone must have tried. Some worked for me, some didn't work for me. First one being maintaining a to-do list. I'm sure everyone's maintained a to-do list to, in order to finish their tasks in a day. So I would jot down things that were important for me to least important and then prioritizing what needs to be done faster and what needs to be uh, done later. So it worked for me for some time but after a point I started getting bogged down by there are so many things to do for me in a day. Then I moved on to Elon Musk method which was my favorite for some time. I'll tell you exactly what he does. <laughs> He's at SpaceX headquarters Monday to Thursdays and then Tuesdays to Wednesday he's at Tesla and Fridays he splits his time between both. So I got inspired from this. What I started doing is one day I would give to Nish hai, 
and one day I would go to give to my acting and content creation. This is how I manage my three professions for alternate days for some months. And Sundays I would do a little bit of everything because you got to work on weekends if you've not been to a business school and you want to be a billionaire. In my case, it worked great for some time, but I started realizing over the period I was missing out on some really important tasks. Then. I started following Jeff Bezos, Sir Jeff Bezos method. So he once said, you need to be thinking two or three years in advance. So why should I make 100 decisions today when I can make three decisions and that's good enough? So I am in only control of making them as high quality as possible, right? So. What he meant by this is that when you are a senior at your workspace, so whatever worked for me before was when I was finding my way into things, when I was getting serious about doing things and I was doing alternate day method. Now lately I'm following this method where I focus on probably making one good video of Nishair that fetches me sales or giving one good audition, one good read, one good uh, watch that helps me grow as an actor or uh, for content creation now finally I have a team not that earlier I didn't have a team so this is how I made it my method by now focusing on doing one task a day making one good decision a day through all this all my many failures I learned four things four main things that got me to where I am today. I learned to take responsibility for my own actions. I learned to stop complaining and blaming others for things. Change what you can control and let go of what you cannot. I learned to be kind and respectful, not just to myself but to others too. My therapist says empathy is something that cannot be learned in one day. It's something that you have to practice each day and lastly believing in yourself so I learned to believe in myself and if I hadn't started a business which no one was doing in this country online trade of human hair extensions that too without going to a business school I mean bus it's not confidence chahiye. these four lessons have been some of the hardest ones to learn but They've also been ones to change my life the most. To help me be the Malkin not only of Nishair but of my own life. So if you truly want to be in charge of your life, control, have control of your life, I'm here to tell you that you have the power to do so. Whether it's starting your own business or uh, going for a 9 to 5 job or doing both, you have the power to be your own person and own your own life. All it is, is a simple change in perspective on how you navigate life. Instead of ignoring your problems, take responsibility of your actions. Instead of letting situations control you, let go of what you can control, cannot control. Instead of letting situations control you, let go of what you cannot control. Instead of giving in to the negative self-talk and self-pity, treat yourself and those around you with kindness and respect. And instead of expecting someone else to take a chance on you, take a chance on yourself. Say yes to opportunities, take risks and go ahead and make a life for your own self and watch the world change around you.